but I'm not gonna do it. Back to the drawing board I go. Do you want me to do a wig for you? I'm thinking outside the box, I'm being creative. I'm going to use this to put the wig on. I've got to give you a little before and after, haven't I? Welcome back. I have got a wig today, which we are going to be transforming. It's a synthetic wig, which I've done a review on. I'm gonna have a better look at it today. And I'm gonna show you how to make it look more realistic. Bleach the cap. So bleach those uh, bonds, give it some layering, baby hairs, and yeah, just make it wearable. Make sure you can put it on our heads and it's gonna look, who's gonna know? This is the beauty. Here she is. I love it. I love this wig. But what we're gonna do is bleach this lace here because then when you put on, you can't see it. Don't quite know what I'm doing with mixture wise. I'm just gonna mixture it until I think it looks like the consistency that you'd, you'd need. I've got this cream peroxide 40 volume from I Can London. I've got that off Amazon, I'll link it below. And I've got this, which I got in Superdrug, which is the bleach powder high lift sachets in it I'm just gonna stick one in the bowl and I don't think I'm gonna need all of that oh it's gonna stink hate it hold your nose I've put the whole sachet in I'm gonna see how much I need of this stuff I don't know maybe that much do you like my measuring skills they're good aren't they it's quite clumpy. I think I'm gonna to have to add some more. It smells quite nice. Oh, <coughs> it doesn't smell nice now. What do we reckon? It's quite thick. I think it'll be all right. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I don't wanna to use too much. Right, I don't have a headstand, so I don't need that just yet. I'm thinking outside the box, I'm being creative. I'm going to use this to put the wig on inside out and just bleach the shit out of it. Got to give you a little before and after, haven't I? So this is before we do anything. Look at it. See them bonds. Oh, I love it. Love this so much. Right. Hasn't got much hairline. You can see my cap through there. I need to bring it forward a bit more. But all this, once you bleach it, you won't see it at all. So when it's on your head, and this is nice and snug, I don't need to do any gluing or anything like that. Once it's on, you don't have to do anything else. Flipping love this wig, look at it. It's beautiful, I wanna get all the other colors. It's quite long though. Turn your wig inside out, stick it on something so that you've got a place to work with. And with me, I'm just putting it on this vase. And then what I'm gonna do is get my gloves on. Yeah, baby. I'm putting this on actually, because I don't want bleach all over my George Ezra. So if I put an apron on, We are gonna work on magic. So. Just go for it. God, I've got bleach on this. It's gonna bleach the
set now. Do you want me to do a wig for you? <laughs> Not a long one? It's been sitting on here for 40 minutes now. I forgot the time. I was only going to leave it on for half an hour. But now I'm going to wash it off and see what it looks like. But I'm going to try not to get the hair too wet because I just want to, I just want to get this done. And I don't want to ruin the hair. I'm not sure it's worked. I'm gonna give it a quick blow dry and just hope that it's because it's wet. It's always worked with my human hair ones. You better work. You can still see it, can't you? Is it better? I think it is. I'm gonna put some baby hairs in it. It def it's definitely better. I'm gonna put some baby hairs in it and then have a little pluck, pluck, pluck it out, pluck it out. Just gonna use a makeup mirror because I can't find one that I can put in front of me. And I don't think it needs plucking. I think it just needs some baby hairs. My wig cap goes back a bit and every time I pull it forward, I'm wondering if it looked better if I just didn't have the wig cap on because the wig cap is quite bright but then my hair is blue so maybe no I think it looks better Oh, I'm not going to stress that too much. I think well, I don't want to have to glue everything. I don't want to have to be like, I need to put a wig cap on. I need to glue it down. I need to dry it over my forehead. Then I need to trim it all off. And then I put the thing on. I just want to get up and stick it on my head. Go a little play around with the front. I've moved my wig cap back. Just going to put in just a few soft ones at the front here. I don't want it to be too heavy because I don't want it to stick out. About like that. I'm gonna start off small. Well, longer. Small touches. Ah! Shit, I don't think that's helping the situation at all. Just tuck it back. Um. I just need fine little bits, don't I? Just small bits. Okay, it's not too bad. But I'm not going to give in. Maybe a bit more like that and not so ridiculous. Oh, I don't know. What am I doing? What am I doing? I honestly don't think I need to do anything to it because I think it looks banging. But actually, saying that, here, look, maybe I could put a little something in here. Do you think? Maybe. It's just not going to hide the blue, is it, really? Realistically. I mean, I could, like, cut this short and glue that but I don't want to be doing all the gluing but I'm not gonna do it back to the drawing board I go did the bleaching do any different for this wig did it did it can you tell I don't know but from a distance I look like I've got a nice long set of beautiful hair it's not a set is it if it's actually your hair but it's not actually my hair because it's a wig i don't know what do you think let me know in the comments down below and i will be attempting to do various different things with my synthetic wigs this doesn't feel synthetic doesn't look it it's got no shine to it it actually looks like my son's hair because his hair looks like this but his is more that length 
So I think if me and him stand next to each other like this, it'll be like, you got your hair from me. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm, I'm happy with it. But I will. I will be getting more of these in different colours. So if you're interested, let me know. I have seen like a neon lime green one on there. I'd love to try. Oh, have you seen it on there? It's straight neon green i thought that would be so much fun for halloween but um i'm happy with it i'm not gonna cut it some people were like it's too long and i agree it is extremely long and you can cut it this one you could definitely i reckon you could just go like that and it would be perfectly fine because of all the kinky waves and stuff in it i think you'd be fine cutting this one if it was straight it would be difficult but with curls it's definitely, definitely doable. I love this and I cannot, cannot wait to get more colours in this one because they're so much fun. I think the bleaching has helped. I thought I was going to have to pluck it, but I don't think I do. And I'm really not very good at putting in baby hairs, especially when I'm, I'm it would work if I was to be gluing down but I'm not gluing down because I can't be bothered I've got too much going on I just want to stick it on and go so yeah thank you all for watching and I will see you all again in my next one uh more hair more wigs more colors and more variations so I will see you then if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe and I will see you all in the next one bye